My name is Santiago Ortiz. Uh, I'm a retired school psychologist. I've been with Pablo for 21 years. We've been married for two years. We got married in Connecticut last two years ago, May. I met Pablo 21 years ago when I went to Venezuela uh, seeking medical attention for my HIV status. Uh, there were no medications then. Uh, that's why I'm retired because of later I was diagnosed with AIDS. So when I went to Venezuela, I met Pablo the week there when I was waiting for the doctor and we hit it off immediately. He went to my house in Puerto Rico to meet my family. I went to his house to meet his mother, his family, his father. And I was on sabbatical. I asked him to come to Puerto Rico. That's when he went there for a couple of months for a while and I asked him to come to Puerto Rico, to New York to live with me. I talked with his mother and I said, Doña Graciela, I will take care of your son. At that time it was before 9-11 and I had the idea that any person who was law-abiding, a good citizen like I knew he was, could get the path to citizenship and to residency. <coughs> that didn't happen. Uh, we've been together all that time and Pablo hasn't been able to legalize himself. Um, my condition got better. I never expected it to last this long. When he came, I told him, Pablo, I might last a week, I might last a month. Let's make the best of it. I asked him when his visa was over not to leave, and he made his decision to give up his life in Venezuela, his family, his job, his career, to be with me. Um, and now it's my turn to try as hard as I can to work with the immigration reform so that he can legalize himself and, and start working as a teacher, which is what he likes. He teaches GED and he's finishing his doctorate in Spanish. And uh, we're a family. I never thought we'd be a family. Same-sex sex couples never had the right to be a family. And then we got married and it's, it's just great. Uh, I'm Pablo, I'm Venezuelan. Uh, uh, Santiago is my husband. I uh, have been living with Santiago 23 years uh, this year. Uh, two years ago we, we got married. Uh, currently I'm studying uh, a PhD for a PhD degree uh, at the Graduate Center. Uh, studying uh, Spanish and literature, literature in Spanish. Also, uh, I'm a volunteer for uh, people that speak Spanish that uh, want to get uh, their GED. I guess, I, I think the GED is very important for them, I know. Uh, uh, right now, well, we are with a uh, lot of hope, hope that uh, these issues related to immigration uh, could be resolved in the near future. Um, it had it had been a complex experience uh, to live uh, in New York City uh, because I now I have a, a different perspective from the country where I was born, from Venezuela. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, I, I feel sometimes like invisible. Uh, I can get uh, a job. Uh, our economic situation is, is hard. But uh, I, I, I say it, uh, I have a lot of hope that uh, uh, those issues resolve uh, in the future. Uh, I'm 52 years old, and uh, when I was young, I never thought that uh, in the future I could marry uh, and that people respect me and my partner as a family. And what? Hope. <laughs>